tons of stuff going on, including our shout outs. Our first one goes out to Savannah. Savannah says, Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Mom. Hope you have the best birthday today. Hope you win a cash That girl is nothing but sass. All this kind of stuff on the hip and the arms. I like that. Uh, another tweet comes from Dave Kenny. Miss Ruby playing at the Grand Canyon. Look at that. Look at Miss Ruby playing at the Grand Canyon. Why not? You know, if you're going to kind of take a rest, why not do something positive? Play the cash show. I love it. And there's service there. That's crazy. Uh, and Joker Girl 9. What's up, man? It's your boy Alpha, man. You're going to win some cash today, man. You know what's up, man. If you're new to my channel, hit that sub button, man. When I wait to 500 subs, nigga. 500 subs, nigga. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on my video, man. Let's turn it back to uh, Ralph fans. First time you're playing, first of all, welcome in. Uh, second of all, check out our FAQ for all things cash show. Get your answer, your questions answered there. And right now, it's time to answer some trivia questions. Let's do it. Question number one. What type of transportation does a conductor typically maintain? Airplane, ship, or train? Damn train, don't, don't lag on me, man. My favorite form of transportation, rollerblades, which you can see at train. cash show underscore Raphael. I'll give you a hint of what that video is about. Uh, pilots basically are of the ship, and the conductors are the conductors of a train. That is your answer. So the conductor makes sure that the train is in compliance with all orders, signals, rules, and regulations, and plays a pivotal role in the safety of both passengers and bystanders. Everyone is safe. Moving on to question number two. During which season would U.S. consumers celebrate holidays related to pumpkins? Spring, summer, or fall? Fuck! Right, guys, I, I was watching the damn video on TV, Pumpkin, man. spice, everything. Damn. This is true. This list is real. Dog treats, instant pudding, mints, Fuck, Pringles, man. baby watching powder, watching YouTube and, and even shit, a pumpkin man. spice Halloween costume. All damn. this madness happens in your answer. Fucking fall. Now here's a fun fact about pumpkin Fuck. spice. It is a 361 million dollar ass, operation. Man, watching videos That's and shit. more than the GDP of Micronesia. Fucking All Fortnite pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Ass videos, so man. you know what? Fuck. Show some respect and love for the spice. Question number three. What is the most sparsely populated country in Europe? France, Iceland, or Germany? I don't get no fuck. Watch my fucking YouTube video. It's bullshit. Your answer is the size of the state of Kentucky and has a population of less than 350,000 people. And that vacancy sign is flashing in your answer, Iceland. Yeah, that's right. So most of Iceland, beyond the capital of Reykjavik, is fairly uh, sparse with people. So here's some perspective for you. Uh, Kentucky has a population of 4 million, or 11 times the population of Iceland in the exact same space. That's crazy. Question number four. In which of these cities has the TV series Crime Scene Investigation not been set? New York City, Chicago. Las Vegas, or Chicago? I'm looking forward to auditioning for a role on CSI Dayton. Yeah, that's uh, when the local IHOP is robbed at gunpoint. Investigators have to find out who done it. Can't wait for that to start. The answer is Chicago, though. So CSI Las Vegas debuted in 2000. Since then, a total of 797 episodes of the show were made, including spinoff series set in Miami, New York City, and Washington, D.C. to follow. Question number five. Dim sum is a cuisine that has its South Korea, China, or Japan. Dim sum usually consists of a variety of bite-sized dishes China. served with tea. It has its roots in the uh, older tradition of yum cha, which literally translates as drink tea. Drink your China, tea. China, I told and you. your answer is China. So all of you that got that right, congratulations. You got past all our non-prize questions. We're going to be moving on in just a second. Uh, Lee2087, if this show is live, give me a shout-out. Lee2087, there's your shout-out. We are definitely live. And uh, my shout uh, Mike Moots, Mike Moots, uh, love rollerblading too. What kind do you have? I have the kind that have four wheels on one and four wheels on the other. I don't know what kind you're looking for, but that's it. Time for our prize questions. Prize round. Now remember, for an 
in-app support or questions, be sure to use the in-app contact us. This sends an email with all the requisite troubleshooting info. Uh, Twizzlers are a fun, waxy, red licorice, which is how I describe Twitter. For fun and frivolity, let's connect at cash show underscore Raphael. And remember, you can all tweet us directly on the interwebs. Take Bo's word. Uh, using the handle at cash show underscore trivia. Question number six. First of our prize questions worth $150. In the Grand Theft Auto video game series, what real life city is Vice City based on? Miami, New York City, or Los Angeles? No Grand Theft Auto Dayton. That's interesting. I guess I'll have to wait for that, but uh, I still have hope. Now, in each game, the player takes on the role of a criminal that must rise through the ranks of organized crime in cities similar to your answer, Miami. <laughs> Rated not everyone. Uh, most of these games in the controversial GTA franchise have been set in either Liberty City, based on New York City, San Andreas, based on the state of California, or Vice City, which is based on Miami, Florida. Question number seven. Which was the first submarine to circumvent the globe without one surfacing? Scorpion. USS Scorpion, USS Triton, or USS George Washington? At first, they named the first nuclear-powered submarine Nautilus from Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, but then they decided to change it, and uh, they changed it to your answer, USS Triton. The Triton was a nuclear-powered submarine that performed its historic 84-day journey. In 1960, it followed Magellan's route and used a computer to map its exact location. Oh, no, the Triton. Very cool. Question number eight. Whose words inspired Nike's famous slogan? An athlete, a murderer, or an astronaut? A murderer? It's be a murderer. Man, it's His famous last I got words eliminated. became an unlikely source of inspiration uh, when Nike's cash advertising show, I think. agency was trying to or think of a catchy slogan. In 1988, who do you go to when you need a slogan? You go to your answer, a murderer, believe it or yeah, not. So demanding video. the implementation of his death sentence just before being executed before a firing squad in 1977, double murderer Gary Gilmore said, Bro, no. let's do it. For a lot of people, do it. you did it, and you did it wrong. Unfortunately, this is a comfort cat here to comfort you. Comfort, comfort cat, cat, comfort cat. I haven't hugged comfort cat in like three or four days. I'll get there. Thank you very much. It helps us all. All right, stress level down, concentration up. We're going into question number nine, worth $300. Among the following countries, which has the largest population? Never Netherlands, Israel, or Burkina Faso? All right, so check this out, guys. This country is 4,000 square miles smaller than Nevada, which has a population of just over 2 million, versus the 19 million who are crammed into your answer, Burkina Faso. The African landlocked former French colony of Burkina Faso's name derives from two different languages spoken in the country and roughly means father fatherland of honest people, just like a ton of them. Question man, number 10. I got eliminated, Bill man. Collins watching was YouTube the lead singer and primarily played what instrument for the band Genesis? Guitar, bass, bass or drums? How about that bass, bass, bass? Bass. Collins was born and raised in London and has been playing this instrument since the age of five. Wow, what was I doing at five? Probably rollerblading. Uh, his, he first joined the award-winning Genesis in 1970, and he played your answer on the drums. Oh, no, so after drums. Departure, the departure of Peter Gabriel five years later, Collins took over the lead singing gig and then went on to a very successful solo career himself in the 80s. And then power ballads were just never the same again. Before we jump into question number 11, I know I keep, I'm so animated when I talk, my tie moves over. I know my tie's crooked. Thank you very much. Who said that, by the way? Is that Judy C297? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It just keeps sliding back and forth. So remind me. Thank you, guys. Question number 11. What is the real name of Marvel superhero Kickass? Is it Dave Lazowski, Luke Cage, or Matt Murdock? It's A. Lewowski. Lazowski. Deciding man. that he would love to be a superhero, your answer trained his body and bought a costume. Pretty much that's all there was. There's no extraterrestrial powers, money, a. or radioactive spiders. Just your answer, Dave. Dave was asking. Hey. When Dave is stabbed Dave, and hit by Dave. a car, he has several metal plates and braces within his body, along with damaged nerve endings, which probably helps with all the fights he finds himself in. Couldn't feel anything, but you can feel it. You can feel that you're almost in question number 12, but let me remind you, we're live again tomorrow evening, but right now, it is time for our final round. Damn, I'm on the radio last round. Let's get it. Uh, B-U or Boo? O2, 
Shout out to Bay Area. Hello, Bay Area. Nice to see you. Uh, and Dentals, give me a shout out. Shout out to you, Dentals. <laughs> it's quick and simple. Uh, $1,573 is what this question is worth. This is the last question of the round. Here we go. Remember, Lucky Spin coming up right after this. The company that makes Twister and Yahtzee shares its initials with the actor that plays which movie's title character? Edward Scissorhands, Beetlejuice, or Ferris Bueller's Day Off? A. I cannot wait until the release of the Cash Show board game, or even better, the video game version. It would have to be like on, on Atari, though, because we're like retro here, and it would, it would have to be like in block form, you know, 8-bit, because we look better in block form. Your answer is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Never mind. If you got that one, that right, you just won the yeah, cash show. Milton dollars. Bradley was better known as MB Games. MB is also the initials it, it of actor Matthew Broderick, who played slacker teen oh, Ferris Bueller. Congratulations, guys. You guys did a great job. Uh, but your reward is going to be our lucky spin coming up right after we see this. This is the first of the yeah, two things we're going to see right off the bat. This is our prize distribution videos and uh, chart right over there. Shit, and it's going to give you an idea of what's going on as I straighten my tie. Fucking Fortnite. Once I get my tie bar, I'll be able to clip that in there. But for now, just keep reminding uh, me. If right? you enjoyed this video, oh, wait, is, ain't it lucky spin on this Guys, show? Guys, are you? No, no, why is no one else excited about this? Five dollars and twenty nine cents. Niggas did win five dollars. Well, damn, they can go get the motherfucking uh, little Caesar's pizza now. Because we still have over twenty five thousand people waiting for Lucky Spin. This is just cool. I'm about to end the video crazy. and shit. Dave, I'm about Lucky Director Spin. Director Dave, put down the Oreos and celebrate with us, please. I, I beg you. All right, let's calm down, straighten the tie, and get ready for. Lucky spin. Come on. Big money, big money. No let me no let me stop. Look at this that. is really exciting, guys. Lucky spin, you're guaranteed a prize here. Damn, right? no, the wrong guard. Which allows you to skip a directly into the prize question round or a power prize, which gives you double the cash out at the end of the show. But you have to use that prize that you're getting right now. And catch you tomorrow, man. Hours, but if you enjoy this video, nigga, uh, put, so mute this shit. If you enjoy this video, man, don't forget to hit that like button, man. If you to my channel, hit that sub button, man. We going all the way up, nigga. We grinding out the whole summer, man. I'm, who the fuck is buddy ass? But whoever, man, ooh, man. What the fuck I about to say, man? I'm going alpha out. Peace. Catch y'all next show, man.